In today's lesson, we're going to be going over how we can create a search bar in SwiftUI in iOS 15. And as you can see right here, we have a list of countries and there's actually too many countries for us to even know what we're looking for. So a search bar is going to help us with actually finding the country we want to search for without using too much effort. So if we go here and we actually scroll down, it's going to provide us a search bar. And let's pretend we're looking for Mexico, which is quite far down the list. All we have to do is type in Mex and it's going to take us to Mexico. And it will even help us get there on the way. As you can see, just by typing in ME, we'll get all of these suggestions and Mexico's down here. And of course, you can edit the filter to do whatever you want. This is just one of the scenarios where you will use it. So as you can see, ME can also stand for Yemen. Or if we want to look for Indonesia, we can type in IND and it's going to drop us with India, Indonesia and Indian Ocean. So it just helps us simplify the process on looking for what we have to find. And of course, the toolbar at the top looks beautiful. It has nice animations and it fits perfectly with SwiftUI. So this is what we'll be making in this video today. And the first thing as always to be done is to go to our project and hold shift command plus N to create a new one. We're going to click on app and next. And then here we'll give it a project name of search for something. And of course you can name it whatever you want. Then also make sure to use Swift UI as the interface and Swift as the language. Then we'll go ahead and click on next, specify a project location and click on create. Now the first thing I like to do usually is change this to an iPhone 13 and close this sidebar over here. Now I'm also going to minimize the preview window a bit. And the first thing we're going to do today is actually import an array. And I'm going to leave the project files in the description down below. So of course you're welcome to copy the array I have, but we are going to click on the folder, click on command plus N, and create a new Swift file and click on next. And we're going to call this one sample data and click on create. Now inside sample data, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste in around 200 countries. And it's quite a lot. I think it's nearly all of them, if not all of them. And again, this will be in the description box down below. So you could just click on that link and copy this if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial precisely. Otherwise, you can make a dummy list with four or five items and continue with the tutorial. But once we have this list, let's go back to our content view and close the sidebar. So the first thing we're going to do inside here is create a private var called list of country, which is just going to be a personal reference to the country list. And then we're going to call at state var search text because we have to use this later as a binding variable for the search bar. Now, the first thing we want to do is create a filter function. And it's actually going to be a variable with a closure to simplify things. So here we're going to go ahead and type in var countries, and that's going to return a string. Then we need to open a closure. And the first thing we have to do inside here is type in let lowercase countries, because of course we need to convert this sample array to lowercase. It just makes it a lot easier to process for the user. So let LC countries, which is lowercase, equal list of country dot map. And then for each country inside the list, we want to call it and say dot lowercase so that we can lowercase all of the items in the array. Next, we want to go ahead and return if the search text is equal to nothing, means the user hasn't written anything inside the search bar we're going to return the entire LC countries, lowercase countries. Else, we're going to filter the LC countries, so dot filter. And for each one of these countries, we're going to call the placeholder and check if it contains the search text dot lowercase, because we want to make sure that we compare the lowercase string to the lowercase search text. And that's the entire filter function for the app. Now we just have to worry about displaying the information. So here we're going to go ahead and create a navigation view. And inside there, we'll create a list. And we can actually go ahead and already get started with calling the searchable box. And to do it, we just have to type in searchable. And we need to add the binding variable. So dollar sign search text. 
And let's give this also a navigation title, of course. So navigation title is going to equal countries. So as you can see so far, we have the title and the search bar. But of course we want some items to actually iterate through. So to do this, we're just going to type in for each. And since we already created a variable with a closure, we can just type in countries. And as the ID, we're just going to assign each one to dot self because each country is unique. And then country in, and we're going to make this look nice. So to do that, we're going to create an H stack, add the text, and inside we'll add the country dot capitalized. Then we're going to add a spacer, and at the bottom we want to add a nice image of system image or system name. And I just added the figure dot walk because I thought it looked really nice with a foreground color of color dot blue. And since they are very close together, I went ahead and added some padding. Anyway, we have a search bar, so it doesn't affect us that much. But now you'll notice that if we go ahead and actually run the program, we're going to be able to search for each and every one of these items. So right now we have the search view, we can go up and down. If we go all the way to the top, we can just type in something such as something with a Z because it's all the way at the bottom. Let's do New Zealand, for example. And of course, Switzerland is down there. And we can also type things such as LO and get Slovenia. Or if we're looking for Italy, we can just type in IT A and it will give us the suggestions. So we do not have to break our backs to type in Italy 100%. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, it's also quite annoying to have to scroll so much just to find a country. And it's very easy to miss sometimes. So the search bar definitely just simplifies all of this and makes our lives a lot easier. And it also comes with some very nice animations, such as when you click on cancel, it takes us back to our main screen. But anyways, guys, that was the basic usage of the search bar. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.